Good morning, guys. Um, for the more shit of you guys to see everything while I'm doing videos, um, I might as well do sh sh just show you what, what the go is. Now, I've got four, two boys and two and four girls. So, if you guys wanted to know how you girls work, um, I don't normally show stuff like this, but last night I was talking to my daughter who used the um, Neotech NH um, 841 and Emma, just, just talking to her. And it's hard sometimes for blokes to talk to their doors, but we need to talk to our doors to see what they're thinking. So she um, painted my fingernails and my toenails, my toenails first. So, there you go. Isn't that pretty? That's so nice. But it's a way for us to connect to our doors and um, just see what's going on in their head and just relate and just understand. But it's a tip that I've done because having four doors, you got to spend time each door. You can't, um, you know, favourite ties or whatever else, but it's just one of my parenting, parenting tips that it's always worked for me because you get to know what your girls do. But, um, guys, I don't recommend doing them um, because I've done makeup on my face today. Oh my god, makeup does not come off a guy's skin. Um, it got to the point, I even got some brake cleaner and um, screwed it on a rag and wiped my face with burnt my skin. But makeup doesn't come off our skin's more oily, and it's that's not good, so. That was, that was not a drunk, so I wouldn't do that again, but yeah, just a tip. Talk to your girls, and that way they'll tell you if there's a problem with their guy or friends, and it's part of life. Anyway, we're going to do a video today with um, longer tungsten carbide chain, and um, I just thought to bring it up, because you would have seen me fingernails from time to time, me points, so I can't hide them, so I'm going to talk about it. Now, this tungsten carbide chain, I've, I've put it on slightly tight. Um, it will stretch a little bit, uh, these chains don't really stretch much, but uh, this, a little bit tight, but that will give a few cuts. Now, the only cut I've done with it so far is just a little tiny bit here. So, um, I'll do um, three cuts with this saw. This saw is pretty thirsty, it's stock stand. I haven't even worried about it's that important because it just runs so good. That's my mule I go to if I want to do some work. Um, I'm going to um, do three cuts and then I'll turn it off, but every time I get another tank of fuel, I'll do another free cut so you guys can see how this chain goes. And I'll cross my fingers and toes and everything else, make sure there's no nails and stuff. We just had a look at some logs over there, uh, back over there, and the screws in one of the logs. So it's it's not easy, um, like no chain likes logs, uh, no chain likes screws or nails. So I'll do my best to avoid screws, nails, rocks, stuff like that. But I'm hoping to see 10 tanks out of fuel out of this, at least 10 tanks. Or maybe more, I don't know how we'll go, but if we can avoid all the crap, we should have a good day. We're doing iron bark, um, box, all sorts of crap. Yeah, anyway, let's get to it. Okay, this is going to be tank number one. I probably will forget what tank I'm on at from tank to tank, but I'll do my best. I'll do three cuts and now go into a future tank and um, I'll do three cuts every tank. So here we go. All warmed up and I've checked the chain, chain's right. I buy a new tripod. That should be alright. Alright. I'll be sunny. I forgot my
okay, that's the baseline done. So, semi, ch semi chisel, the pretty big stuff. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. So, we'll see how we go after tank after tank. Alright, I'm gonna work now. Okay, that's the end of tank one. Got quite a lot of large round stuff. I could barely make through the last ones there. So we'll start the next tank. So this is tank two. I'm starting here, so we'll fill up this bit of concrete bay. Tank two. End of tank two. This is the sawdust. If I can record, and can't see. Never mind. So the chips are still big, as they should be. You can see all that. I say we'll go on to tank two, a uh, tank three now. So much we've got done. This hardwood is not what you call um, easy to cut. It uses a lot of fuel. All right. Tank three.
Okay, okay guys, that's the sawdust from tank free, um, yeah, tank free, pretty big, still cut, cutting the right, so I'll do some cuts on tank four. I'll set you up. This tree's got nails and stuff, we've thrown out a couple already, I can show you that. So you know what we have to, it's an everyday thing, we don't, not mucking around, there's a big spike, there's screws. Screws there, um, that log there has got a big spike in it. So we're trying to avoid cutting metal like we normally do. Alright, tank four. Feel like. Alright, I'm just about to fill up on tank 5 so we've done 4 tanks and I thought I might well adjust the chain but to show you guys these chains do not um, uh, uh, stretch very much for what they are um, for Australian hardwood they have to get abused and um, well, we, we have to hard stuff so yeah, I'd love to show you guys, that's, a, that's four full tanks of fuel and most cuts have been full bar length or more, some of them. Anyway, I'll fill this up and we'll go back to number five. Well, I'll show you the sawdust from um, tank four, we're starting tank five there.
Okay, it's the end of tank five. I'm retiring the near tank. I'll show you a sec why. Um, chips still big. Oh, yeah, but yeah, I'd say still big. Just where I was cutting. Yeah, that's right. Where I was cutting. So, I'll show you why. Now, this tree, um, I've never really um, referred to him but, um, as this, but the guy I work with, oh, I play around here for, calls him a st standing dead, and I've heard that before, but I've always referred to these wid widow makers, because one branch drops down and hits you in the head and kills you. But this is um, what this tree was. It was all a standing dead uh, for about 15 years, so it is totally, totally dried out. But um, funny enough, there's still red sap pouring out one of the logs I can't find now. But yeah, liquid red sap. Now there is there. Oh, they yuck. Anyway, I'm going to retire this knee tech. Ankles hurt me knuckles, but reason be that rubber just there. Don't know if I can move it. I know. The rubber has come away from the metal backing pipe. Oh, there you go. So every time I, I dog it in, my knuckles rub against the chain brake. So um, I have adjusted my chain brake. I should do a video if anyone wants me to do a video how to adjust your chain brake. You'd use a file and pull it apart, but I can show them if you want. But I'll um, take the same chain off. So I'll keep going with this chain. I've got a, a chain that will fit um, a harness. Um, so for the 395 chump, chump, hey chump, it takes the same 0.063 chain. So I'll put this on and we'll get a set up and go for tank six. All right, guys. Okay, we've done still, we'll close still. Now for the Husqvarna fans, um, you can buy these bars. I don't know where you get them from, but um, for the, if you want to go Husky, you're .063. But um, yeah, look around your points. So we're on tank six now. Let's see she goes. A couple big cuts. We'll move on. No, I think I think the Husky's lighter. I don't know. And remember, I'm not a Husky or a still man. I'm a solid man. Uh, are we recording? Yes, we are. Okay, this is sawdust from tank six. Still pretty big, still chunky. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the guy who is operating the machine, um, he's impressed. He had a go of it. Um, he's on tank six and he said the chain pulls harder than um, the chain when he bought from someone else. I don't know who it was. 
when that was new and there's that um, six tanks for so we'll keep going guys we'll keep going got to see you back up over here okay tank seven Okay, that's all us from tank seven. Still big, still it's cutting nice now. It's uh, funny enough, it's still aggressive, but not uh, crazy aggressive. But we're going to tank eight now. Right. Tank eight. Towards the end.
Okay, that's the sawdust from tank eight. So it's still nice and big and chunky. Quite happy with that. Not bad. Not bad for, it's still cutting, great guys, still cutting good. Right, I'm going on to tank nine now. Right, tank nine. Tank nine, so we've still got big sawdust. So we're going to start tank ten. I call it quits after that because I'm getting worn out, guys. I'm almost bruised, but be good. That was the um, the owner of that saw playing with things. Yeah. All right, we'll get, let's saw it out. We'll get ready. So number two, um, ten tank. So tank ten. There we go.
guys chumps had enough it's um 10 tanks all up between the two saws um the sawdust the chain is starting to get dull now um but this is a really hard timber it's, you see it's fluffy it depends because if we're cutting smaller stuff not big rounds it, it'll bog in no worries at all but these bigger um timber it's just super super hard stuff but it's still cutting pretty well straight so i'm amazed i really am amazed but um, I heard noise in here, I thought it was um, a nail. We yeah, had nail there, the other day, a big one there. But anyway, I'm happy with that. 10 tanks of fuel. Hope this is entertaining. I'm buggered, I need to go lay down and have a sleep. But anyway, over and out, guys. Thanks for watching.